mga isyung pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at ihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Magandang gabi po, si Mario Garcia po ito. Ito ang Face Off. May git sa 86% ng populasyon ng Pilipinas ay mga Katoliko Romano. Ibig sabihin, ganito rin ang probably ang porsyento ng ating mga kababayan na hindi pwedeng maghiwalay sa pamamagitan ng diborsyo kung kasal sa simbahang Katoliko. Sa lahat ng mga miyembro ng Estado ng United Nations, dalawa lamang po ang hindi na nagiging inaalaw ang diborsyo. Yon ay ang Vatikano na noon ng Papa at ang Pilipinas. Okay? Pero dati, sa Pilipinas, meron ng diborsyo. Panahon ng Kastila, panahon ng Amerikano, panahon ng Hapon. At maging hanggang ngayon, sa mga Muslim, pwede ang Pilipino ay magdiborsyo. Pinapayagang magdiborsyo. Ayon sa ating Philippine Existing Law. Pero sa mga Katolikong Pilipino, isa lamang ang pwedeng gawin kapag decided na si Mr. at Mrs. na maghiwalay at hindi na pwedeng you know, incompatible maga. Basta ilalim sa proseso ng annulment ng simbahang katolika. Merong annulment pero walang divorce. Napakahabang process po yan. Taon ang aabutin. Malaki din ang gastos. Libo ang kinakailang ilabas mong pera. Paano naman ang mga mahihirap nating mga kababayan, talagang hindi na pwedeng maging compatible. Meron ng bugbog sarado, meron puro tama na sa mata, sa mukha. Kaya naman ang tanong, bakit hindi makalusot o makalulusot ba ang divorce bill sa ating kongreso, sa House of Representatives o maging sa Senado? Para pag-usapan natin ng Matino, no? I- ma-interview namin ngayong, ngayong, gabi, ngayong gabi ito ang mga subosuporta sa divorsyo. Pakikilala ko sila. Yung pabor. At talaga atat na atat na magkaroon ng divorsyo sa Pilipinas. Isang babae, si Maria Estela Sibonga. At isang advocate ng divorce in the Philippines. Pero siya ay isang katoliko. Si Paul Rojas ng Divorce Pilipinas Uh, coalition. coalition. Lahat po sila ay miyembro ng grupong Divorce Advocates of the Philippines. Sa panig po naman ng mga tumututol sa divorsyo, narito po from the Manila Times Supplements Editor, si Lea uh, Manto Beltran at si Professor Orlando Molina, EVP ng Manila Times College. O, game na. Hmm. Uh, Marami mga tanong, pro-divorce, anti-divorce. Yun munang gusto. Game. Ikaw muna, Paul. Ikaw, you start the ball rolling. Opening statement. Good evening to all. Uh, I'm Paul Rojas. Um, I'm the designated spokesman of the Divorce Pilipinas Coalition. And to open, we'd like to stress that we in the coalition, we value family. We value marriage. We value life, health, harmony, and we value truth. We are here to be the voice of the muted subsector that can hardly speak up. So we are here. We are basically outliers within the core group of the coalition. All right. And la- ladies first. Uh, si Maria Estela. Uh, ako po si Maria Estela Sibunga, isa sa mga sumusuporta ng divorce ng Pilipinas. Kasi po naranasan ko po kung, kung paano po magpa-file ng, ng annulment, it, uh, declaration of absolute nullity of marriage. Uh, nakapag-file na po ako na noong 2011, pero na-file nung abogado ko, 2012 na. Kung hindi pa ako nag-follow up sa kanya, 
hindi niya na hindi niya ma-file. So ang objection mo sa process na available ng annulment na yon matagal. Sobrang gastos. Yes po. Uh, bali na file niya 2012 na Uh, 2012, 2000, umabot ng dalawang taon mahigit yung proseso ng annulment. Then, to, uh, dalawang taon din mahigit, lumabas yung decision. Di, five years. Then, nung 2000... Dalawang taon bago lang ka-decision? Da, uh, bali, dalawang taon po. Pero yung proseso, dalawang taon mahigit. Yung lumabas yung decision din, dalawang taon mahigit. So, kulang-kulang, mahigit apat na taon? Opo. Na, nanalo ka? Nanalo po ako nung 2017 po. Na, na, Magano uh, na gasto mo? Nasa almost 250,000 po. Alright. Na, na-desisyonan po ng korte noong August 7, 2017. Then, nung kumuha po ako ng, uh, hinintay ko muna ng almost two months kasi sabi nila, bago sila magbigay ng certificate of finality, kailangan muna hintay nila kung may motion yung soldier. Kaya after that, after two months almost, pumunta po ako ng korte. Ah, ang nag-oppose nito, yung Solgen solicitor po. general? Yes po ipinagtatanggol nila yung 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 proseso ng pagiging kasal nyo oh, okay. sa batas at baging simbahan. Opo. Okay. okay. Tapos nung kumuha po ako ng certificate of finality kasi sabi ko kung pwede na akong makakuha ng certificate of finality para maipareceive ko na sa LCR kung saan kami nag-file ng annulment at saka kung saan ako kinasal. Sabi naman nung nasa korte, ay oo ma'am, pwede na kasi wala namang letter from the Solicitor General. Hmm. Then after two, one week, bumalik ako para magpa-certified copy para may padala ko na sa LCR na hold ng korte. Kasi sabi nila, kailangan mo na i-hold namin yan kasi nag-motion yung soldier. Pagkatapos? Yun na po. Hindi na po ako pwedeng magpa-ano. Hindi na ako pwedeng mag... Pagkatapos, nag-umpisa na naman, nakabiti na naman sa korte nakabiti yung, naman po, kasi yung panalo sa, mo. Y- yes po. Meron ng desisyon lahat. Meron okay na sana. Kaso hinold pa ulit ng korte kasi kailangan nilang ipagpatuloy yung proseso. O, ilang, ilang buwan na ngayon na, na held yung... Ano? Magdalawang taon na po. Dalawang taon uli? Dalawang Kailan taon. Kailan ang huling hearing ninyo? Hindi. Matagal na po. Nung ang huling hearing ko po is 2015. Lumabas yung desisyon 2017. Ano sabi ng abogado mo? Bakit? Yun na nga po. Panalo ka na, talo ka pa. Yes po. Yan na nga po ang nanong ko sa abogado ko. Kasi ngayon, tapos ko na siyang bayaran lahat-lahat ng servisyon niya. Oh. Ngayon, hindi ko na po siya makontak. Siya pa yung nagagalit sa akin kung bakit lagi kong pinafollow up. Kaya anong recourse mo ngayon? Papalo ka maghahabol? Ako na lang po yung nagpa-follow up dun sa korte. Ako na lang nagtatanong kung meron na. Kasi Ikaw mismo, dun sa korte? Yes, anong korte? Uh, Brands 27 sa Tandag po, Surigao del Sur. Eh, nasa Manila tayo ngayon, umuwi ka pa sa Yes po, umuwi po ako doon. Uh, every year, umuwi po ako, kinukons- uh, finafalo ako doon. Then, oh, nung... Right. Okay. Paul, uh, bago natin hingan yung mga auntie, ano? Is this a typical length of time to wait? Sa pagkakaalam niya? Well, we've seen others who are on, seventh, on their seventh year of waiting. Uh, others, eight years. No? Um, wala pa kung... We have some co-advocates who have successfully been annulled. Is uh, this more of an exception than a rule? Meron bang mga lesser time ang pinaghintay, mas mabilis? Or sa nadinig ninyo, mga kasong tinusundan yeah, there, nyo? There, there are instances that are much shorter, like two years. Like, okay. Uh, And uh, expense-wise? Almost the same. 200, 250. Eh, yung appeal-appeal na ito. Yung... Yun na po, yung nag, nag-decision po yung uh, nung nag-mo, nag-motion for reconsideration yung soldier, sabi nung judge na nakausap ko, i-deny daw niya. Na-deny nga niya, nung ulit nung bumalik ako, akala ko okay na, sabi nung judge, hindi pwede dahil yung soldier umapila sa court of appeal. Ngayon, ah, nakab- talaga yung oh, yes po. Naka-apila, nakabinbin po ngayon sa CA yung oh. annulment case ko po. Alright, okay. Let's leave it at that muna, no? Uh, alamin nga natin sa mga lumalaban sa divorce, your reaction please? Mm. Ako po si Leia Manto Beltran, uh, supplements editor ng The Manila Times. Uh, bago po ang lahat ay mag-advertise muna ako kasi ngayon po ay 121st anniversary ng The Manila Times. Uh, na parang isa din pong katunayan na ang kasal ay pwedeng magtagal. Uh, kaya po ako ay talagang po oh, kaya segue mo ha <laughs> dahil po ng oh. lahat po ng bagay para sa akin ay napag-uusapan at pwede namang i-resolve pero hindi ko rin naman po uh, isinasantabi 
na maaaring may mga dahilan talaga kagaya po ng kasama natin ngayon ng kung bakit sila naghihiwalay. Pero para po sa akin, ang kasal ay sagrado at mm, hindi dapat ang pinagsama ng Diyos sa maaari pong klisyeyo na ang pinagsama ng Diyos ay hindi maaaring paghiwalayin ng tao. Yun lang po. Okay. Uh, medyo susundutin ko yung klisye na sinasabi mo. Yan ba ay pwedeng dismissin na motherhood issue? Can it be uh, used as an argument? Yung motherhood issue yan eh. Pero yun po ang truth eh. Yun ang sinabi. In the Bible, in the Sixth Testament, in the Sixth Commandment, ito ay sinabi na, Thou shall not commit adultery. Okay. It, ang, ang, ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang divorcio ay tinuturing na adultery. adultery no? mm-hmm. Pakikiyapin. Pakikiyapin. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yun po ang aking... At bilang isa pong miyembro ng katoliko, at mm, dahil ako po ay miyembro din ng Light of Jesus Community, may ina-attendan po ako na talagang yan po ay tinuro. Mula po nung ako ay isa pang single, talaga pong nag-attend ako ng state of life discernment. So, ang pag-aasawa po sa akin ay isang sagradong uh, sakramento na dapat ay kung maaari ay ipaglaban mo ang pamilya. Naniniwala rin po ako na ang mga Pilipino ay talagang nakaugat sa ating pagka-Pilipino ang pagiging makapamilya. Na laging sa likod ng utak mo ang lahat ng gagawin mo ay i- Lagi mong iniisip ang pamilya at buong kuminidid mo sa iyong gagawin. Kasi ang paghihiwalay ay laging ang mga bata ang maaapektuhan. So, kaya po ako ay anti-divorce. Alright. Let's listen to Professor Orly. Yeah. Uh, good evening po. Uh, basically, I'm a happily married man. There were instances, of course, na... Excuse me, Professor. No? Paul, during the pre-interview pre, uh, natin, no? sinabi mo rin, you also are happily married Catholic. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Pareho lang kayo, Professor. Pareho kami. Uh, go ahead. And so, therefore, uh, you can see na talagang antay ako dito. As I have said, there were many times when trouble uh, gets in the way of your marriage. It's But a natural It is a natural consequence of relationship. And so, therefore, uh, you go to the extent of toying up with the idea of separating. Mm-hmm. But you have a family. This is the real issue mm. why we have to stick it out to that marriage. Mm. Because there are social costs of separating or divorcing for that mother, your children will definitely suffer. It may not be a suffering from the two of you, mm. the man and the woman, but the social consequence of this to your children mm. are really far-reaching. And so therefore, if you talk of the socio emotional, psychological effect of this to the children, it will impact on the community, on the society. So, therefore, if we consider family as the basic unit of the society, then you are not supposed to put something there that will ruin the family and therefore will uh, cascade to ruining the society and the nation as well. So, the way I look at it is, if there are instances where you can no longer relate with each other, then, as we have said, we have legal separation anyway. We have annulment. Pero matagal nga eh. Matagal nga ang process eh. Yes, uh, totoo matagal po yan. But, If the uh, government uh, can do drastic reforms in order to shorten the process, then it can be done. There are a lot of uh, judicial processes already that have been cut in order to shorten the litigation. So, to me, that is not a problem really. Yeah, the problem with the lengthy litigation process to separate through annulment or whatever whatever you call it, 
impera money huh? it probably if there's there's an instrument or authority or whatever law that will give the process as a gift to the people and it's free that's it it might be a good idea mm. all right anyway hi everyone i am z hervasho and welcome to the new clark city where the 30th southeast asian games will be held this november dito gaganapin ang tagisa ng mga atleta mula sa iba't ibang bansa ng southeast asian region Happily married. But where are you coming from? I don't intend to divorce my wife. Yung mga anak mo, hindi ko mga anak yan. Dalhin mo kung saan ka. Okay, I'm happily married. But where are you coming from? I don't intend to divorce my wife. Okay. Uh, And then why are you in favor of divorce? Okay. Um, I represent the sector or the subsector of people who have benefited already from divorce. The Divorce Act of 1917. We had divorce in the past. Um, my grandmother, who was born in 1906, uh, grew up during the time when it was customary for maidens to be forcibly married to whoever held their hand. In, in lumang panahon pa. Oh, oh, in, in Mahawakan my, mo lang sa daliri ka na, patakasalan oh, mo. Oh, oh. In, in, the case of, wala, wala. Oh. In, in the case of my grandmother, a kiss was stolen. Hindi lang hinawakan yung kamay niya. So, it's several degrees worse than... Yung mga panahon, ganun ang magtaki pa ng ano, may pamaypay. Oo, oh, yung uh, lengua de abaniko. Oh. Pagka pinaspasan po, ligawan mo na, kapayin mo na. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, it happened to your grandmother. Yeah, oh. and uh, turns out that Uh, the husband would beat her up every night. Oh. And the busted lip is where he would get blood. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. May kunting mental yan. Yeah. Story, huh? So, so sinisip-sip nung so, impeki mong lolo, yung, yung blood sa... Oh, hindi lola. ko lolo yun. <laughs> Ayun ay, ang unang naging asawa. Yun ang unang naging asawa. Ng lola then, mo. Oh, oh. And then they had to be separated the the marriage had to be severed okay okay and she had a son with another man i see okay and that's my that's my your story na nabiyaya ka naging apo ka nang hindi yung unang hindi ka magiging apo not of a predator oh. okay so that's where you're coming from huh? yes okay. and if you look at the the mental constitution of all of my co-advocates mm. and more particularly their exes. Mm. Sila yung talagang may diferensya. No? Uh, ito mga istorya ng battery na bubugbug. Ito, for example, itong si Maria uh, Estela. Estela. Ikaw ba ang istorya mo ba? Binugbug ka? Mm, hindi. Pinagtaksilan ka? O no? Ano lang po, hindi po sa binubugbog, pero kung bunga nga po pag-usapan, siguro ah, nabubugbog. Verbal ako. abuse. Yes, verbal. Ah, hindi lang yun kasi nung unang nahuli ko siyang may, lala, may babae kasi lagi, lasing giro, walang trabaho. Ako hindi lang. ka binubugbog? Hindi po, pero one time na parang sa tagal ng panahon, siguro hindi niya na matiis na lagi kung sinasabi mag-work ka ng maayos para sa mga anak mo. One time na yun na talagang muntik na niya akong mapatay nung inano niya pero ako ng itak. will you admit na ang... ang na pinagmumumura muna siya. Uh, yes po. 
yung pero hindi yung mura na ganun lang nakikiusap lang ko sa kanya hindi ako sumisigaw umiiyak lang ako ng tahimik oh. yun lang nung one time nung nakita nung mga anak ko na nag-aaway kami na parang hinahagpas na ako ng itak ng asawa ko na muntik na muntik oh. na akong matamaan na inaga ko kasi na, nakahiga yung mga anak ko yung pero hindi ko binubog pero anong pambububog sa yung talim Verbal. Yes po. Yung laging, malis ka dito kasi po, first marriage po ako. Ka, buntis na ako nung pinakasal na ayaw na ayaw niya. Na nung nalaman niyang nabuntis na ako. Pinamigay pa nga niya ako sa ibang lalaki kasi ayaw niya talagang panagutan. Pampili ko lang palang istorya mo. <laughs> ha? Yun po yung ano niya. Alright. Kahit na ano po, ginawa ko na po lahat na para ma-save man lang yung marriage. I mean, Ilan ang anak niyo? Tatlo po. Hindi ko siya pioneer sa magtrabaho <laughs> anuman. Yun lang yung ano, yung babaero, yung ako lagi pinapalaya. Hanggang sa yung anak kong babaeng panganay, at that time is six years old. Sabi niya, mama, tama na. Huwag na natin, ah, huwag ka nang magtagal dito. Aalis na tayo. That was the last vote. Y yes the po. Straw, the straw that broke, that broke the, 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 broke the, the broke comments. Kasi alam ng mga anak ko na hindi ako palaaway, umiiyak lang ako nakikita nila na nag-aaway kami. Hindi ako nagsasalita, umiiyak lang ako. Is that common sa mga nag-advocate ng divorce? Maraming ganon. Uh, maraming slothful. Good for nothing. Uh, maraming uh, may cases of infidelity, as in uh, highly promiscuous. Uh, yung hindi nagmamatsura? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are even those who have other families as well. And then, meron nga dyan. Sumisweldo nga siya, nagtatrabaho nga siya. Pero, sinasabi niya doon sa original family, eto, oh, binibigyan ng 500 pesos oh. for the whole month. <laughs> eh, nung lata ang mabibili, no? lata ang walang laman. Oh. Oh, ano <laughs> sabi niya, eto na. Mga pulubi naman kayo. Okay. So, these, are, these are things that I, I pick up along the way mm -hmm. from interviewing my, uh, my, my colleagues. No? Um, so we're actually looking at not the union of normal people. Okay. There's at least one normal person and a dysfunctional one. Mm -hmm. So we, we're talking either um, psychopaths, sociopaths, uh, uh, at the very least, narcissists. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very difficult to live with them. You, you cannot win. Not psychologically, not, not intellectually. You cannot win. Well, maybe also financially, you can't win. Well, don't you agree, or can't you agree, na, in other words, if institutions of family will strengthen yung process ng bago si Pedro at si Petra ay payagang mag-asawa, strengthen muna yung choice. Yung decision ng, ng choice nila. Bago sila pagsamahin na magpakasal, hindi mo susugod-sugod na magpakasal. It, it, can that still be done? Well, ideally... Ideally, yeah? But it, it's it easier said than done. It, it's easier said than done, oh. correct. There's a phase in growing up where kids don't pay attention atat na, atat na, to what, whatever, na, whatever, na, the, uh, whatever the parents say. Meron dyan, uh, Jew and Arab, sinabihan na, oy, hindi kayo paris dyan. Mm. Hindi, aral naman siya. It's not mm. like, you know, the, the usual. You know, and, yun nga, from day one to, to, mm. almost four years into the marriage, gano pa rin. Away pa rin? Ubugbog siya. She would, she would tell me that, she would, para hindi marinig ng mga bata na binubugbog mo siya. Mm. She would bite um, yung kapirasong uh, tela mm. to muffle her, her, her shouts of pain. Ang naririnig na lang yung untog sa pader, yung mga ganon. Para lang hindi masira yung image ng father na dun sa mga anak. So, what we're saying here is that my colleagues fight. They fight for their marriage. They fight for being together. No? But, uh, but they reach us really a point that they cannot fight any longer. They just have to uh, call for severance. Ikaw ka magria? Pwede po ba natin malaman kung ano po yung isinusulong na bill tungkol po sa divorce at ano po ba ang pagkakaiba nito sa 
Annulment. Sa annulment at saka sa existing legal separation sa ngayon. Okay. Uh, Pagkakaalam mo ba? We have several bills pending in, in Congress. In the last Congress, the 17th Congress, uh, several bills had been passed at the lower house. Mm. But uh, the single bill that had been filed in the Senate did not go past the first reading. No. Uh, come the 18th Congress, back to zero yan. Mm. No. So right now, several bills had been refiled, the same bills mm. had been refiled in, the, in Congress, and uh, the same K. Uh, uh, Senator Ontiveros was refiled along with several bills uh, authored by uh, Senator Pia Cayetano. Um, so there are several that we're talking about here, and we're not just talking about no, substantially. Uh, anong, local. Ano laban ng mga bills na yan? There's local divorce, and then there's uh, recognition of foreign divorce because. Uh, and the automatic know, there's, recognition. Hindi eh. natin recognize. Yes, automatic. that's what we're asking for. Na mm -hmm. maging automatic siya. We just present this paper that somebody has been uh, divorced by the foreigner, and it should be enough. Including divorce in Las Vegas. Na in 30 minutes you have one. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's something we can learn from other countries. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, we are we're in a in a unique position to craft a divorce law that is alinsunod dun sa values natin. Palagay mo ba yung values na papasok na ko sakaling ma-approve yung divorce law na yun, divorce bill na yun. Tatanggapin ang values ng Pilipino considering na meron niyang study na ang middle class ang nagdadala ng values sa Pilipinas. Kaya ba tanggapin ang middle class ng Pinoy yan? Oh, yes. Yes. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Kasi yan, yung middle class din na magdidesisyon sa eleksyon. In fact, sa uh, aming, ano, ang coalition namin has like 80,000 followers aggregate yan. Mm. Each of these people have friends, have relatives who are sympathetic to their plight. So multiply that by 10 or 20. That's a good figure. I have a punchline question for you. Well, assuming it works, the advocacy works, and eventually magiging batas ang divorce law, does it make the biblical commandment with that move correct? You move the bomb again, correct? By, with, the God's, with God's commandment, that thou shalt not commit adultery. Is that not an exercise or mal exercise of freedom? Because on freedom is a mandate for human beings to do only what is right. For example, it is, is it right to burn your house? It is right if my house that I will burn is my house. In the process of burning my house, my neighbor's house will not be burned. That's correct. Pero kung pagsinunog ko ang bahay ko, yung bahay ng kapitbahay ko nasunog, kasalanan ko. Di ba? Mm. I, can, I can extend my hand forward and then sideways. I can do that. It's my freedom. But if I hit you in the process, my freedom stops when your freedom begins. Mm. Uh, I'd like to say something about uh, freedom. divorce being... Uh, painful and destructive. Um, if you look at the marriage between um, a normal person and a, mm. um, a dysfunctional one, mm. to be a laceration, mm -hmm. uh, you need suturing of the wound, cleaning it up. That's painful. But it also starts healing. That's the start of healing. You cannot expect healing to come from a, a dirty wound. Mm -hmm. So it will, divorce is like this process of having to suture it so that the healing can mm -hmm. start with the aggrieved spouse, with the children. That's where it comes in. No? Um, there are 
actually six justifications for divorce. Uh, yeah. Namely, uh, one is um, social justice. Let's begin with that. Okay. Uh, to social justice, um, we look at the fact that divorce has never left the Philippines. It has been there before the Spaniards came mm. because we were, remember, Manila was uh, Mainilad mm. Mm. and we were Muslim. Mm. No? Uh, and that's been practiced ever since. Mm. No? So it has never left the Philippines. Mm. Even up to this time, we already we still recognize oh, I'm Muslim. that. Yeah. So if you talk about the issue of divorce, it's really a problem among Christians. And when you talk about that, it invokes the violations uh, dun sa na Universal Declaration of Human Rights. No? You should not be discriminated upon because of your, your religious beliefs. Mm. No? So, in that case, like, there are many who are Christians but are not Catholics, they're asked to toe the line to have to undergo annulment. But it, it doesn't exist in their, in their, uh, mm. in their church. Mm. So they have to go through young, uh, under the state law, no? mm. young, it's a family code. So that's where many of the abuses come in, mm. sa mga, mm. uh, sa pipeline. No. Um, the second uh, thing there is divorce can help prevent parricide, security issues. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Embedded in our culture is this skewed sense of ownership. Akin ka. Oh, ito yung asawa mo, mm. say yan. Mm. No? Mm. Now, what's, what's, the, what's the difference between giving something to a normal person and giving the same thing to a dysfunctional one? Di ba ang process natin? Sisirain niya yun. Akin naman yun ang eh. Ang palakasin natin, yung proseso ng pagpili. Yun. Mm -hmm. Pag, yeah. Pagpili. Because it will not make right. Even if you cited the International Declaration of Human Rights. As again, biblical statements, Ang, mas, ang hierarchy, no? mas mataas yung biblical statement sa Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, it will it, be an international debate forever. But I will maintain my, my, my statement in terms of hierarchy of documents, the International, do, uh, international Declaration of Human Rights is lower than the yeah. Declaration of, of, the, of God Himself in the Bible. Uh, let's put uh, it this way. Okay. You, you claim that Marriage is. Uh, this is just my opinion. Oh, okay? Okay. Uh, this is not an official it's a statement of the. It's a free country. Okay. This is not an official statement of mm -hmm. the coalition, mm -hmm. but if you look at the uh, basis for saying marriage is a sacrament, it's a, there's sanctity in it. Mm -hmm. It comes from the fact that uh, it is in in the Roman Catholic tenets that it is a sacrament, right? Yeah. But. In the Bible, there is proof that, you know, there's this marriage in Cana, and that predates your Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. So people were getting married long before the Roman Catholic Church was formed. No, mm. so, no, you can, what I'm saying is that marriage has long been a civil, a completely civil Even thing. before? Even before, before the, the first... The religion Roman, was Vatican made. Church. Was made. So, yeah. no religion can claim sanctity of this particular act when it's actually based on her loyalty to her her vow mm. Mm. and this guy's loyalty to his vow. Mm. Nothing else. Oh, okay. They picture this. People get to an island. There's no law, there's no religion. What do they do? They will cohabitate. That's what we term it because mm -hmm. there's no ceremony. Mm -hmm. But when you put them, 
But when you put the palamuti na, ano, na, on some religious undertones, mm. then we call it blessed. But mm. what exactly does it mean to be blessed? Really, mm. what does it mean? Meron nga ako dyan na uh, barkada. Kinasal siya ni Cardinal Sin. Awa ng Diyos. Tatlo asawa niya ngayon. Oh. Really? Really? Uh, hindi naman sa kung sino nagkakasal. Kaya nga, it boils down to each person's commitment. It has nothing to do with religion. That's what I'm saying. You cannot put religion in this. Be uh, tama po kayo. Pero naniniwala rin po ako na hindi lamang ang katolikong relihiyon ang may ganyang paniniwala tungkol sa kasal. Lahat ng relihiyon ay nire-respeto ang pagsasama at laging sagrado sa bawat pamilya ang pagpapakasal. So, hindi po ito usapin ng relihiyon lang o ng sinasabi nating uh, dahil nga may Ten Commandments ang mga Kristiyano, eh... Palagay ko, Muslim, meron din po. Kahit ang mga atheist o kahit ang mga ang, ang ibang relihiyon lagi nilang nirirespeto ang kasal at pagsasama ng pamilya dahil lang yan nga po ang basic na, na relasyon ng tao, yung pagpapadami ng mga tao. So, palagay ko ay uh, hindi po talaga isa, hindi naman relihiyon o ang katoliko lang ang nagdikta na yan ay ano na yan ay let's, isang sagradong Let's agree on something. Okay. In what is known as anthropological dualism. There is a something that can be accepted by your panel and my group. And that is that man is a composite of both body and soul. But for those who for anti your your main uh, argument is is that religion is most important and in religion no. the soul the soul takes primacy of importance but in all other no. in all other fields of knowledge and bodies of science the human body comes first takes primacy whether you're talking about uh, psychology you're talking about uh, social work it's still the material body that comes first so government is not about religion it, it's it's about taking care of its people especially those who are suffering oh you go professor and, ma and many of those who do not see their plight who do not feel them uh, lack empathy and this is if I may say so, a, a form of, a symptom of narcissism. Not just, and, and there's a great correlation with, between narcissism and sociopathy and psychopathy. Okay, okay. I will say something there, but well, later. later. Yeah, I, I feel that uh, religion is not the central issue here when we talk about divorce. We're talking here of the impact of this mechanism to society and at the same time to the family. Now, we talk about dual, duality of Anthrop man. Right. Yes, anthropological okay. point while, of view. While it is true that uh, we take the body as uh, the forefront of this duality, somehow religion takes care of the spirituality of man. And this is what we are taking care of. Eh? Education has not prepared us really to, uh, to uh, balance the aspect of duality. Lagging yan tilted over the bodily, uh, body requirements. Pero, what happens after you die, for instance, is so important. And that is where education failed miserably. It did not consider, for instance, the concept of morality. Kasi ang idea natin ng morality came from the middle class. Morality is universal. Whether you like it or not, 
we want to do good. Pero ang sinasabi natin eh, for what is good? Para sa akin lang. We are not talking about, we, we are not referring about the uh, totality of society here. Interest ko lang. Taking note of what were given as examples. To me, isolated dyan eh. And we brand it as, uh, we brand it as dysfunctional? No. The concept of dysfunction came in probably because of the building of that uh, relationship, which was not nurtured well. And it's it not a, a product. Or egg. Yeah, it's not a product of just one person. Product of two. If you do not know how to take care, nurture about it, it will result to that. And um, one thing more. Marriage is a product of volition. Our freedom there is imperative before you accept marriage. Now, nagkasala ka, nagkamali ka there, then sabihin natin, mag-divorce tayo. But you own up to your mistake. You own up to your mistake. That is Kung your responsibility. That is your responsibility. I, I'm saying it's volition. Oh, before yeah. you say something, well, um, I'd like to latch on to your statement of the anthropological reference. No? When you make that point, it, it presupposes that there's a new revival of something based on prehistoric times, which is not being imposed on us in our values, in our thoughts, in our, in our theocracies. Uh, how relevant will anthropological the theosophies become now in the present times in relation to past events of the creation of man? Anthropological reference, eh, it is based on hinuhukay ng mga, uh, our, our, mga historical, our, our, our democracy, prehistoric past. Our democracy cannot be based on theocracy. Mm. Because in like in the Philippines, we're really actually referring to a plurality of Beliefs. Of beliefs. Okay. So government has to have laws that apply to all, mm. not just to the Roman Catholic Church. I'll be blunt about it. Yeah. No? That's correct. That's correct. So um, let me uh, say something about uh, what you had just said, uh, Professor. Professor. Um, true, when one gives one's consent in marriage, that is supposed to be an expression of free will. However, one's free will is always uh, limited by his intellect, his knowledge, especially his ability to perceive far into the future. Right? That's foresight. Foresight, yeah. Part din ng intellect yan. Eh. Mm. Okay. Uh, because that is by nature limited, we always give in everything, we should give everybody a chance to climb out of their rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Want proof? Look at people who want to be married to Jesus Christ. They are ordained. But when they want out, they are allowed. But did they still stay in the church? They can marry. But they changed their vocation from holy orders to... Married men. Oh, mar married already. No? So, even in post-war Vatican, where it was the tradition, if you're elected Pope, you die as a Pope. Right? Mm -hmm. Except... Pope Benedict. Mm -hmm. So there's always, uh, I mean, what did he, he, he beg of for? And three sons. Which means, yep. if, the, uh, if uh, the vocation that you have chosen becomes hazardous to your life, to your health, you can go. You should be allowed to go. Now, I went only to my second, uh, before I was cut off, 
uh, second justification. I'm not yet on my third, which is prevention of the decline in mental health. Oh, okay. You know, some of our, uh, you're into education. Saan nanggagaling yung mga ibang suicides? Bullying. Bullying. Across the globe, bullying. Can you imagine someone who's not who's very normal, very loving, being married to a bully and being bullied every day? Can you imagine that? Kung ano yung gusto niyang gawin sa buhay niya? Talong mo to. Did you want to commit suicide? Yes, I commit suicide two times. Yeah. Kahit na nun, nung una pa lang, talagang kinausap ko na yung parents ko na ayokong magpakasal dun sa lalaki. E kaso nga, sabi niya, dahil sa kahihiyan, kailangan ikasal kayo. Kasi sabi ko, hindi pwede kami ikasal kung ayaw nung lalaki. Dahil alam ko, walang patutunguhan tong relasyon na to. Uh, about suicide, you attempted suicide three times? Two times, kasi uh, two nung times? nahuli ko siya nung na may babae. Dahil sa ako pa yung pinapalaya siya kahit siya yung may kasalanan. Anong, anong alam mo sa the value of human life before you, now that you said you wanted to commit suicide twice kasi po yung, do you value your own life more pa, than anything else yes parang nawala na ako ng pag-asa wala akong malalapitan wala akong makakausap kasi nga inaamin ko sa sarili ko na kasalanan ko ang lahat kung bakit ako nagkaganito yun ang laging nasa isip ko hindi ko pwedeng sabihin sa iba yung naging kung anong naging karanasan parang may self reflection ka may self pity ka pa yun yung, ikaw dapat sisihin yes po yun yung lagi niyong pinangangalandakan doon sa amin kasi every time po lagi niyong sinasabi, yung mga anak mo, hindi ko mga anak yan. Dalhin mo kung saan ka. Kahit mismo mga anak ko, sinasabihan niya ng ganun, hindi ko kayo kayang tanggapin, hindi ko kayo mga anak. Ginawa ko lahat meron, meron to save. Meron mental bullying. Yes, meron po so, yung pinapaya ko sa, mara sa maraming Talaga, tao po. Binuisit ka ng binuisit. Yes po. True and true. Yung sasabihin niyang, huwag mo akong pakialaman, umalis ka, umuwi ka, lumayas ka kung gusto mo. Kahit na yung mga, yung bahay namin na tinitirhan, na nandito ako sa Maynila, nag-work ako para sa akin ng bukasan ng mga anak ko. Giniba niya, pinalayas niya yung mga anak ko. Ano sabi niya, lumayas kayo dito dahil hindi ko kayo mga anak, wala kayong karapatan dito. Yun po yung lagi niyang sinasabi sa maraming tao. Kahit mismo sa mga anak ko, yun ang sinasabi niya. one co-advocate. She's a graduate of psychology. Mm. And still she married this guy. And, uh, and experienced practically the same thing? Yes. Pero, yun, inuuntog din yung ulo niya sa bakal. <laughs> Talagang may, may, may other materials used. Um, and yeah, we can invite her here also. You know? um, Undoubtedly, there were Well, you know, real good cases na isa site na talaga naaapi yung nagre-reklamo na gusto yeah, na makipaghiwalay, yeah. literally, physically. Yes, yes. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that making the two married couple divide or separate or, or live separate lives, it doesn't make things, as you said, doesn't make it the, right, the, the most right thing to do. Is that what you're saying? That's what I said. <clears throat> Ano pa may ibang option? Paano naman po sa akin kung talagang uh, parang sa akin po sa yung kwento po ni uh, experience ni karanasan ni uh, sa simula pa lang ikita eh, mo na talagang bound to fail 
So, meron naman po siguro tayo, uh, talaga namang meron yung legal separation na yan lang po ang malungkot. Na talaga nang napakatagal. Hindi ko rin naman po yan isinasantabi na talaga namang na, napakatagal ng proseso, napakagastos. Ng proseso. Ano lang po? Yung legal separation po is still married ka pa rin po. We have one who, who filed for legal separation because uh, yung panggugulpe, yung physical abuse, is not a ground for annulment. Yes, infidelity. So, um, when she filed for it, one of the requirements was for her to construct a narrative. And she was asked to put down all of the gory details. That's double jeopardy. And, and, and she could not... To recall yung lahat ng inabot. Exactly, it's torturous. The process itself is torturous. That, that's maybe, the same for. Maybe that's this the is, same for. This is an areas for improvement for the law. Yes, yun po, It wasn't well thought of. Let's. Uh, to say the least. Improvement nung kung papaano ang proseso nung mga ganon. Kasi uh, pero yung outright parang tinitingnan ko po kasi kung halimbawa nga at mapapatupad yung bill na ito. Ang bottom line po nito ay napakadali nang maghiwalay. At ang implication po noon sa mga tao na hindi man lamang gumagawa ng paraan ng pagkakasundo, eh napakadaling maghiwalay. Parang yan po ang bottom line niyan eh. Pag halimbawa at napatupad, at lalo na kung magiging mura nga, o I mean the cost will be very easy para maghiwalay, eh parang madali na na pag ayaw mo, ay eh, ayaw ko na. Parang gano'n. Ano, nanonood lang ka, ka lang ng sine? Ano ka, magpakasal tayo. Panonood ng sine. No, ah, ayaw, a, ayaw mo pala na ipapanood mo. Alis na kayo. Ganun there's ba? a... Hmm, parang gano'n. Meron mga grounds. There's, na first of all, there are grounds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, basta, basta po. And uh, we put forth the idea that the number of times divorce may be granted would be limited in number. So that it doesn't... We want to sawa. Hindi unli, hindi unli, oh. hindi unlimited. So it doesn't become a way of life, but instead it it becomes and remains a an emancipatory remedy. No, but we are human beings. Eh? Isn't one divorce just about too many? Well, for some, yung nabugbug na uh, and who had been living away like 40 years already you know, these are people you know you just uh, do a what is known as a summary proceedings you know? there's no there's no point in in uh, in putting up any fight you know? we, the the bill now has that provision that if you have been that if you had been uh, separated, in fact, for five years, summary proceedings lang yan. If you've been legally separated for two years, summary proceedings. Uh, if you've been abandoned for 12 months, summary proceedings then. Yung seven years ka, may mga Pilipino, akala nila pag seven years hindi kasasama, pwede magpakasal, hindi ko. Is it still a legal process involved? What I understand is in the Sharia law, two months lang ng abandonment, pwede na eh. Sarya yun. Among the Muslims. Oh. Uh. Among the Muslims. Professor, meron kang gustong sabihin eh. Go ahead. Well, I was just reacting to the concept of suicide. Uh, suicide is a natural uh, consequence of a malfunctioning relationship between a husband and a wife. May, may, may but, formula yan, Professor. The formula for suicide is loneliness plus hopelessness, hopelessness. equals suicide. Because of that kind of relationship. But what will be the net effect of this to the children who are left as a re result of, of uh, separating together or divorce? We note that there are a lot of children who are probably bullied or who probably uh, committed suicide as a result of the kind of relation that they see 
among their parents. So, hindi lang yung suicide para lang doon sa mag-asawa. Para rin yan doon sa mga children That's who are mouthful, left no? behind yeah, because well, of divorce. You can include depression, PTSD. Yeah, madami. Now, uh, the, one of those who was supposed to be here also stayed at my folks' place. Mm. And we saw the development or the decline of his, his family. Mm -hmm. And I gave particular attention to how the their only child was behaving. He was very taciturn. Ayaw mga pag usap He's just hammering down with his keyboard. Mm -hmm. Ganyan. Wouldn't talk. Pero ngayon na umalis na yung yung mother yeah, the na, uh, oh, na, oh. na yung errant mm -hmm. errant spouse uh, dahil sa pangangaliwa. Uh, he became, he came to life. He came to life. Now he's gregarious. He's, you know, he's uh, talking to other people. He's initiating contact. That he was, uh, no, he was uh, reclusive. So there is a an effect, a positive effect, of having the warring parties separated physically. Now. That gives strength only to legal separation, correct? Now, especially for women who are asked, uh, Mrs. Name of your family name of your tormentor, Mrs. Blah Blah, di ba? Ulit-ulit kang tawagin ganyan, especially in school. No? Andun yung anak mo, tatawagin ka, uh, Mrs. So-and-so, eh, you know, it, it brings back painful memories. That should be severed. Cut clean. That's what is needed. That is needed for healing to come in. Do you think that healing can only come after the declaration of divorce? Or it can start, healing can start even when the divorce is not granted. It's in your own soul, it's in your own mind. When you allow yourself to be bullied forever, some, some if you have are, to sign, if uh, you have to sign, no, 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 mm. if you have to sign every time, your husband's name. It's not a case for for the male, no. Uh -huh. uh, if uh, a your woman Mrs. has so -and -so. Mrs. So and so, mm. that's that's torture. That's torture. Yeah, and then especially if, uh, like, among OFWs. Especially yung mga seamen. Hmm. Yung iba dyan nagpapakamatay pag alam nila na, ano eh, na nagloloko yung misis. Eh. Because they are mandated by law to give 80% of their money to the wife. 80%. Ito. And they know that nagloloko na. Gusto ko lang input itong point na to. No? Meron namang mga pagkakadon. You cannot, you cannot say no dahil hindi ito nangyayar. Meron din namang mga tao, probably covered ng pinag-uusapan natin, na dapat magkahiwalay Pero in the process, ini-enjoy naman nila hidden sa kanilang utak. nag enjoy sila habang sila nagkakaganoon. You ask the psychiatrist. Meron ganyan. They enjoy being victims. There's a broad spectrum that yes. we're talking about here. No? Yes. Uh, so we cannot say that just because some, some like it hot, that hot. <laughs> uh, we should not. We cannot conclude from uh, these generalizations. Yeah. Uh, ano po? Para po sa akin, um, ngayon pong marami akong natutunan sa inyong uh, advokasya ng pagsusulong ng ng divorce. Um, siguro po talagang bago magpakasal o pumasok talaga sa kasal. Isipin din natin muna, uh, doon sa mga single pa dyan at magpapakasal, pag-isipang mabuti. Kasi ang foundation po ng kasal ay hindi lamang kung ano yung makukuha mo doon sa, me sa marriage, kundi kung ano yung ibibigay mo doon sa kasal, sa relasyon. Ka dapat pong pag-isipan muna din ng society, siguro ng komunidad, ang katulad ng nangyari sa kanya na parang pinwersa o ka, tulad dun sa lola 
na ito ngayon dapat mas mature na tayo bilang mga tao na bago ang pagpapakasal ay hindi basta ganun kasi nagbubuo ka nga ng pamilya. Pero sana ang pagpili, siguro yung pagpili at lalo na kung ganyan nga po na doon mo lang madidiscover na hindi pala siya fit. Usually, kung nang bubugbog ka, talagang hindi naman po yung normal. At hindi naman dapat na sum- umiiyak ka lang sa isang tabi. Hindi naman din tama yun. Palagay ko, hindi naman din gusto ng Diyos yun. So, para siguro sa simula pa lang sa pagpapakasal, yun ang dapat pag-isipan ng tao bago para yung maiwasan ng ganito. Okay. Miss uh... Stella. Stella, baka meron kang gustong ibilin pa sa ating mga televiewers. Uh, Sabi mo sila. Kumbinsin mo sila na dapat magkaroon ng divorce. Para po sa, sa sinusulong naming divorce po dito sa, sa Pilipinas, uh, yun lang po lang na ang hinihiling namin ay magkaroon kami ng kalayaan. Hindi po kami yung isang kriminal na kailangan pong hatulan ng habang buhay. Kami po ay gusto lang makalaya dun sa nakaraan kung ano yung mapait namin na nakara- nakaranasan. Masaya po kami dun sa mag-asawang nabubuhay na masaya, maligaya, mapayapa. Paano naman po kami? Kaming mga nakaranas ng, mang, na hindi masaya yung pagsasama na kahit pilit namin pilit namin uh, pilit namin Sinisikap. <laughs> Sinisikap namin maging masaya, maitaguyod o maitataguyong pagsasama namin na hindi kami magkakaywala para lang sa mga anak. Pero hindi na po talaga kaya kahit na yung mismong mga anak ko sumusuko na po sa pagsasama namin. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat. And from the Divorce Pilipinas Coalition, Mr. Paul Rojas. Oh. Well, <clears throat> um, the current Laws, the current laws of uh, on marriage, severance of uh, marriage ties, are very much inadequate because they address only uh, looking for mistakes or impediments that pre-exist up to the time that marriage vows had been exchanged. There is nothing provided for in law that allows a couple to sever their marriage ties if after marriage there is some fault. So we need divorce for a happier Philippines. Thank you, Paul. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a listen to uh, Against Divorce Naman. Ang Manila Times Supplements Editor, Leah Mantolo, Manto Beltran. Nire-respeto ko naman po ang, ang mga dahilan ng, ng gustong para sa divorce, pero para po sa akin, sagrado pa rin po ang, talaga ang kasal. Salamat. Okay, Professor, uh, Orly? I, equally, I respect the contention of those who are in favor. But my sense is that divorce will really wreak havoc to the family and to society. And if we say that uh, legal separation and uh, annulment are quite difficult to achieve, somehow we can probably convince uh, government and the church to make it easier because if we put divorce there as legal then people will just go into marriage without thinking because they will feel that anyway mag divorce tayo later on so to that i would like to say that uh, i will not really favor Divorce. Kayo naman po mga kaibigan na uh, watch the show. What is your opinion? What is your decision? What will you tell your, your kids, your relatives, yourselves, and the others? Ito po si Mario Garcia for Face Off. Thank you.
Thank you. Hi, Mom. <laughs>